Hello and welcome to this session about the journey to the internal developer platform in UX Netaporte. UX Netaporte, abbreviated WineUp, is the leader for luxury and fashion e-commerce. WineUp is made up of four different multi-brand websites, Netaporte, Mr. Porte, The Outnet and UX. But we also offer our platform and our technology to other brands that want to leverage it. And we call this business department online flagship store. Currently, we are serving our products to more than 180 countries around the globe, and we have 5.3 million high spending customers active every year. Those customers are generating more than 1.2 billion visits, and we receive most part of the orders through mobile platforms. We have 10 local offices spread around the globe, and we manage nine distribution centers. In those nine distribution centers, we host seven digital production centers where we create content and media for the product we sell. My name is Leonardo Romanato, and I'm the global head of DevOps platform and services at UX Netaporte. If you have any question or doubts about uh, the presentation, or if you want to share your feedback or share your experience about platform engineering, or talk about anything represented in the images below in this slide, you can find my contact here. DevOps platform in WineUp is the area that is providing capabilities to whoever is dealing with code and need to build, deploy, run, and maintain an application, a service, a script, an API. DevOps in front of platform is to distinguish this area from other WineUp platforms, such, for example, data platform. We are serving around 600 developers in an hybrid scenario, so both on-prem and cloud, where we use AWS as a cloud provider. We are currently supporting multiple languages, and you can find here the most common one, as well as multiple runtimes, from bare metal machines to virtual machines, both on-prem and cloud, as well as containers, both within and without Kubernetes, and serverless. Not just Lambda, but serverless services in general. Also, considering the company is almost 23 years old, we have the full range of different architecture, from monolithic software to microservices. The DevOps platform area is composed by different domain teams. Some of those domain teams have a pretty long historical background within WineUp. Possibly the most historical one is continuous integration, which has been formed around 2010, and later started to take care also about continuous deployment capabilities. Then we have application delivery, which is a team which is taking care of the content delivery network, as well as the public DNS and the public certificates. Finally, we have monitoring team, which is the first incarnation of the team that is now called observability. This team have been created back in time with a central management organizational model in mind. So those teams were building, maintaining, but also operating the capabilities that they were providing. So not having at all any self-service capabilities provided to other teams. In 2010, a big project has been launched, focusing on a big migration to cloud. For this reason, few organizational changes happened, and CICD, application delivery, and monitoring teams have been brought together to form the DevOps platform department. At the same time, in order to leverage all the cloud capabilities, there has been the creation of a central DevOps team, which was operating on top of the capabilities offered by the DevOps platform. 
Also, in order to help DevOps platform teams to scale their capabilities and to provide those with a self-service approach, a new team called Automation has been created. At the beginning, everything was running smoothly, but soon some issues started to arise. Development teams were exposed more and more to the cloud, and they were acquiring new skills and so generating new requests on their own on DevOps platform, bypassing the DevOps team, which started to become a bottleneck. DevOps platform and DevOps team were not able to cope anymore with all the requests coming from the development team, also because of the centralized automation model that was put in place. In fact, the automation team, which has the role to create and enable self-service capabilities for other DevOps platform teams, started to become a bottleneck itself. Due to the scenario just described, DevOps platform teams started to develop their own automation, but in a solid way, without a common approach. At the same time, the central DevOps teams, in order to cope with the request, started to build automation and product capabilities on their own, sometimes on top of the platform capabilities, but sometimes also leveraging new technologies outside of the platform. Development teams as well started to build capabilities on their own, mostly on top of platform capabilities, to cope with the increased business demand. The result was a chaotic situation with a lot of capabilities replicating each other maintained by different teams. At the same time, also, it was very hard to understand which was the standardized solution and understanding also if any guideline was in place in terms of software development lifecycle. In order to bring back order and governance, but also improve WineUp technology department efficiency, a reorganization happened late 2021, beginning of 2022. A new structure for the DevOps platform area, defining a clear mission and reviewing teams and their operating model. DevOps roles working on product capabilities have been moved to the DevOps platform area and a rationalization has been provided for product capabilities after a first assessment. At the same time, DevOps central team have been dismantled and DevOps embedded in two development teams. Meanwhile, a necessary team has been created. A strong focus has been placed in defining the DevOps platform mission in order to clearly communicate the goal of the area to the all technology department as well as the as to the internal DevOps platform teams. Finding the balance between meeting the needs across delivery teams and minimizing the complexity and the cost of a central tool chain. Relying on a collaborative approach where new capabilities are co-created with delivery teams, trying to have a quick feedback loop. Continually assess the platform to make sure that we retire redundant or end of life tools, we strive for rationalization and we always match delivery teams needs, but also wind up technology strategy. Implementing platform metrics such as net promoter score, percentage of adoption, percentage decrease in feature cycle lifetime. This trying to apply the Google Earth framework and then actively market the platform to drive the adoption. Do not rely on a mandated approach for the platform. Here you can find the organizational model for the platform. As you can see, the development teams are directly communicating with the platform, but we are providing them a single point of entry and we are removing for them the need to have to know which is the organizational model for the platform itself. The platform is also communicating directly with the SRA team, which is the team which are having the comprehensive view of the WineUp technology platform. On the right, 
you can find also some other functional team which the platform is collaborating with enterprise architecture cloud governance cybersecurity the platform is focusing on embedding in the products and the capability that they provide all the guidelines that are provided by those teams here is the list of the challenges that we are still facing as a platform within WineUp. The first one is the communication, where we find pretty hard to maintain an aligned communication, making sure that everyone is aware of the capabilities that we make available or we are working in or developing. In order to manage this, we try to shift our communication approach to be more close to the point of view of our internal customer, mapping all our product capabilities to different phases of the software development life cycle. So making it easier for a developer to try to spot what they could use or what the platform is offering and could benefit them. The second challenge we are facing is related to the product manager role. At the moment, we don't have a dedicated product manager for the platform, and the role is covered by the team manager or by myself. However, due to the extension of the customer community from the platform, a product manager role could be a full-time job. The skill set needed for this role is pretty tricky and is not easy to find in the market someone fitting it totally, considering the highly technical scenario that the product manager is facing. The next challenge is a standardized self-service portal. As I was mentioning, the platform grows in a siloed way and different ways of approaching the capabilities have been provided to the development teams. However, we would like to consolidate those approaches and provide a uniform way to approach the capabilities for the platform. The next challenge is FinOps. We are already applying FinOps to some area of the platform, especially about the cloud and some of the uh, most used product and capabilities that we provide. However, we would like to apply FinOps to everything we provide as a platform, but consolidating different kinds of data and making sure that we fit together different commercial models, especially when we talk about tools that are provided by different vendors is not that easy. The last challenge is related to not providing the full spectrum of capabilities. The DevOps platform is providing quite a lot of capabilities when it comes to developing an application. However, not all the capabilities needed for that application development are provided by the platform. An example is, for example, database which are responsibility of another team, or integration tool like message queuing, which is responsibility of another team within WineUp. We would like to provide for development team a single point of entry in order to be able to access all the capabilities needed for developing an application. In order to try to solve the last three challenges, we are experimenting some of the tools which appear in the market in the last years, so-called platform ops tool. Those tools will be able to provide a single layer where development teams as well as SRE will be able to access as a single point of entry in order to access all the capabilities needed to develop and maintain their application. Those tools are offering also opinionated way to implement a self-service portal, but as well, they are providing capabilities for FinOps. The most famous tool in this category is probably Backstage from Spotify, but quite a lot of others are appearing in the market. Just to mention a few names, Crateo, Mia Platform or Cycloid. 
I hope you enjoyed this talk. If you want to share your feedback, if you are living a similar experience when it comes to platform engineering, or if you are living similar challenges that the one that I presented before, please be in touch and I will be more than happy to have a conversation with you. Thanks again and enjoy the rest of the conference.